with me, Geography Man. And today, we're going to be investigating the reasons for the varying approaches to coastal management in Swanage Bay. Swanage Bay needs coastal management because of the type of rocks in the bay, the fact they've built a town on soft rocks, and because it's open to the sea and the waves from the east. Swanage Bay is an example of a discordant coastline where headlands of hard limestone and hard chalk are found on either side and the bay of soft sandstone and clay in the middle. The limestone is very hard, the chalk is very hard. The clays and sandstone are very soft. So by building a town on those soft rocks, you're going to have problems. So our first site is down here by Shep's Hollow. Now he uh, Shep's Hollow is an area of no active intervention, so it's our management area that has no defences in place. approaches here at Swanage Bay is to do with longshore drift. Longshore drift is taking the material from the south of the beach and moving it in a northerly direction. So one of the approaches that they put in are a set of groins, timber groins. Now, in order for us to prove whether those groins are working, what we should see is a build-up of sand on the south side and a drop on the north. So Barry and I are going to demonstrate this. We're equal heights, or almost. Now with myself on the south side and Barry on the north, you can see clearly we're not equal heights, showing that drop in sediment on the north side of the beach. In one part of Swanage Bay, the cliffs are falling down because of the effect of water in the rocks and not directly as a result of erosion by the sea. You'll be seeing this bit of cliff during your field work beneath the Pines Hotel, or here. Here the rocks are made of sandstone and clay. When it rains, water fills up the sandstone making it heavy and it slides over the clay, creating landslides. This model will show how that works. There's a layer of clay and a layer of sand. The sand is porous and permeable, so water can go into it and soak through it. And as it gets heavier with the water, it will start to slide over the clay layer beneath, creating a landslide. So our second site here in front 
front of Swanage Town is our area of hold the line, where the management strategy is to protect the town, to protect the beach. In order to do that, we've got groins, we've got beach replenishment, and we've also got a sea wall. And all of this has been put in place to protect the high value land behind both shops and residential areas.